Hey guys, it's Zari Films, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make sleeping bags for your calico critters. Okay, so just before I start and talk about the materials, I'm just going to tell you the two different types. So there is this one that doesn't actually work, but it looks really cute, um, and I think it like lays flatter, but this one's mainly for decoration. Okay, so this is the second version, and obviously it doesn't lay as flat as the other one, but this one does actually work, and it still looks really cute. Okay, so there are two parts to the working sleeping bag. There's this part that holds the sleeping bag together when you roll it up, and then the actual sleeping bag, which um, I'm using my calico critter to demonstrate, you can use as an actual sleeping bag. On to materials. You need felt, a hot glue gun, rubber bands, decorations, which are optional, and cotton. Okay, just a quick disclaimer before we start. If you want to make the sleeping bag that didn't actually work, then all you need is felt, a hot glue gun, and decorations, which are optional. Also, you will need scissors um, to actually cut the felt, but to figure out how long you want your felt to be, take whatever um, character that you're using. So if you're using like a bigger doll or like a tiny one, like a calico critter, then you fold up your felt like so. And then measure to see if that's big enough. So that's big enough for mine and you can see how wide it is. And then you take your scissors Take the character off and cut. Okay, so next what you want to do is use your hot glue gun and glue two sides. So you can choose to do like these two sides and then leave that one open or leave that one open or leave that side open. Honestly, it doesn't really matter, but all you have to do is just glue across and fold it over like that okay so I finished gluing the side so I saw I um, glued this one and that side so that I have this um, and so now we're gonna take our cotton and you can do them at chunks at a time just in case you don't want it too big and you just want to stuff some in, but not too much. So I'm just going to put all of that in there. And then we're going to use our hot glue gun again and glue this part. Okay, so I finished um, gluing all of um, the sides. And um, I just kind of like trimmed the edges like a little bit. Um, but now we're going to make the band. Okay, so here's like a little tip I have, I guess. I have like this old mechanical pencil, so if there's something that I'm like hot gluing and it's like really close, um, and I don't want to use my fingers, I guess, then I just use, um, this, and then I add the hot glue on the end from here. So, this is going to be my decoration. So, you want to add the hot glue. You then want to attach your rubber band onto the end of your decoration. Okay, so once you have your sleeping bag and the part to roll it up, you're pretty much done. Okay, so all you do, if you want to put it away, is roll it up. Then, take this. And put it on. So this is what mine ended up looking like. I think it was really simple but pretty cool. So now I have three, pink, blue, and purple. And now I'll be showing you how to make the one that doesn't actually work um, but looks really cool. What you want to do is use your hot glue gun and make lines across. And then you just start rolling it up. Okay, so this is what mine looks like. And I just made this little, like, charm thing. I took a rubber band and put it inside one of the beads. 
and just glued it on with some hot glue and it looks really cool okay guys thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed um and make sure to like and also subscribe and while you're down there subscribing why don't you hit the notification bell so you always get notified every time i post also comment down below and share this video anyway i'll see you guys later bye